Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I want to talk today about my goals, my crafting goals and for 2019. So, um, I've already discussed that my word for 2019 is going to be simplify and I would like to really use that to apply to my household, my life, and that will of course spill over into my craft um, area and my crafting. So, but I also want to talk about my specific goals for crafting. So I, last year I had one main goal and that was to take more classes. I realized I hadn't been doing that and I had really even been very poor about watching YouTube videos. And I think it's important to um, stay in the crafting community and to get to know one another through YouTube videos and commenting and supporting one another. And I feel like I had been too busy to do that. And so I wanted to get more into that, you know, and get more out of my home and make myself take classes. So I was able to go to Creativation in January um, and I took several classes there. I was able to go to um, Doodlebug, their Let's Get Creative um, event in August at their headquarters in Utah. And then I was able to go to Stamp and Scrapbook Expo in September in Denver. Um, and I took many classes throughout the year. Um, this is one of them, one of the local classes. And let me get out here so you can see that. This is fabric. See that? Listen to that. It's um, fabric mod podged. And so it made this little landscape. Um, but I also have been taking um, the same teacher and she has her Instagram is called Take Time to Create and it's also her Facebook page. And I've also been the last, uh, I've done two of them I think now, two or three, where I do, a, uh, she does a monthly mixed media class at our local store and I've been doing that because it's nice to just use someone else's materials and get out and be, because I, I I like mixed media. I've done it, but I think I need that push, you know, and I think this has been helpful for me to get that push. So what are my two goals for this 2019? And one of them is I want to work on hopefully once a month, at least accomplishing something in the area of organizing slash de-stashing simplifying my craft area. So to pick one area and kind of work on it, at least do something once a month toward that goal of organizing, de-stashing, simplifying my craft area. And the other goal for 2019 is I want to be more gift oriented. I give away a lot. I do a lot of giveaways on my channel, a lot of giveaways on all my, my Facebook page my and my Facebook groups. And um, I give away products, I give away things I've made, and I also give crafty things that I make to friends. But I do find that um, I feel like it's a rush, you know, oh, so-and-so's birthday is coming, I have to make something. And I want to kind of, uh, I'm thinking, and I'm kind of hashing this out in my mind, on how to do something, maybe at least once a month, do a project that is gift-related. So something that, that is my end goal is to be able to give it. And another way you could look at it would be something to sell in a craft fair. So I know there are a lot of craft fair series videos out there. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do a series on crafty gifts or what. But anyway, that's my idea for 2019 would be to focus on organizing and to focus on gifting. Um, thank you for watching. And be, uh, feel free to share down below in your comments and share with me what your crafting goals are for 2019. And you can even share what your word for the year is. And please never hesitate to say, well, simplify is my word as well. Because, of course, uh, the same word can be used for more than one person because many of us are walking the same journey in our lives. And so let's be supportive and say, that's a great word. I want to use it too and not ever feel like someone accuses you of copying because that really wouldn't make any sense. Um, of course, many of us are going to go through this uh, journey at the same time of saying we want to simplify. When I first started the, um, the word of the year, 
Uh, my first word was courage because of what I was going through. My next year was believe, and then this year was journey. So 2019 will be simplify. And in the past, um, not in the past, excuse me, but my whole life word is hope. Hope is my word for my life, but then I will have one for each year. So thank you so much for watching and commenting below and giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel.